Hello people, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Ralph Dukan. Look, in this short video, we'll give you guys the latest transfer news in regards to Manchester United. I'll give you guys my opinion on the way uh, our new manager wants to play, uh, why he is going in for some players. We have had a lot of news in regards to what area United wants to strengthen. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that as well. So uh, as a United fan, I would love to ask you guys, if you think that a 3-4-3 is a good strategy for United in the Premier League, that's my first question. And uh, before you click the like on the video, I want to give the members of this small community, we don't have a lot of them, uh, a chance to win uh, one of these uh, face cups. We do that normally on the Christmas. Uh, we have been here for, for like over two years. We've been doing this for two years now. Um, and uh, I want to uh, give you guys a chance to win one of these the pictures will be here online so what to do is i need there is a question i'll write it below this video i'll be writing on future videos who was the last opponent before uh who was manchester united's last opponent when they won the champions league and where did it take place so uh i can give you a clue where it took place because actually i was there on the game you can see that on the picture yeah i remember i had this guy from arsenal beside me uh the attacker the former attacker of arsenal duan Wright, beside me in this picture actually he wasn't far away from me but yeah so who was our opponent and uh, where did we play the finals the last european final where we won on penalties Anyway, guys, let's go straight to the news here. Smash a like, by the way, for the video. Share it. Thanks for all of you subscribing. I'm trying to make this at least a 10-minute video. So we know that um, Ruben Amaron is already in Old Trafford, has had some training, and uh, he's trying to insist on what he wants. He has been asked a lot of questions about if he's going to stick with his 3-4-3 uh, with Manchester United. Look, for me, I think the honeymoon is over because, you know, the, one of the reasons why we more... Uh, uh, Ruben Amaron is so popular at Manchester United. It's not because we have a new manager. It's because of his charisma. I did a video explaining that. Uh, you can go and watch that if you have to this. But look, he will have challenges. The English press is going to be hard on him. I th as I said, the honeymoon is over. So let's go back with, the, with what we do have here as uh, uh, the biggest news now. It's uh, We know Alphon, De Alphon Davis, right? Uh, wants to be Manchester uh, um, United wants to bring Alphon Davis to, to Old Trafford why how do we know this because uh, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed it that was like yesterday we know United have always been tracking this uh, player the reason why Manchester United wants to bring the Alphon Davis is just very simple is because United wants to stick on that 4-3-4 they are trying to please the manager I have a question did any of you watch Barcelona in the 90s did any of you watch Barcelona in the 90s? One of my best Champions League finals, I've seen a lot, it's 1992. Please go and watch it on YouTube when Barcelona played against Sampdoria. It was like highlights, 90 minute highlights. Yeah. So, I, the reason why I'm giving this ex ex uh, example for Barcelona is that United wants to play with the wingers. So, when we are hitting in front, we are going on a counter attack or we are on, on the front foot, as you said in England, in English here, yeah, uh, is our wingers will be so active. Ganacho can do that role. Marcus Rashford, I doubt, because he's a lazy, he's lazy coming back. But you need energetic players. Back in the days, you had Sergi and uh, I think Sergi, uh, you had Sergi on the right. Amor was a midfielder. In Barcelona, they were playing like with very good wingers. So even today, the most difficult place to play Barcelona is New Camp. Not only because it's a wider stadium, it's because they are very good in playing under those wings. That's why you see uh, Sp Spanish uh, teams are very good in expanding the game. I think that's what they want to bring in the Premier League. They are trying to transform the league with many clubs trying to get in more European managers. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, we know Inos are, are in the front foot here with, uh, with uh, Alfonso Davies, the Canadian, Liberian Canadian. I always like to put the name Liberian. Some of you are angry. Nigerian, Denmark, you guys are angry. But you know what? We need to... Call it spade and spade. So that's it. That's we are very organic here. If you don't like it, you can switch to places where you would love to listen what they tell you. But yeah, so Alfonso Davis here. He wanted a contract renewal in Bayern. That was even last year. This is his last season. He will, he will be leaving for free. Uh, and uh, because uh, and Bayern doesn't want to increase his salary, Manchester United can give him a, a lucrative deal to come and play. The reason why I am for this player is because. Not because he's Alfonso Davis, it's because of his attributes as a player. He's physically ready. He got that 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 in, uh, intensity going forward. 
He can defend. He is ambitious. Very athletic player. He fits the Premier League as a glove. So tell me what you think about that. But if in case it doesn't go, it doesn't go well on Alphonse or David, we know that Manchester United are coming back with their all, uh, the player that they wanted before, and that was uh, 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 Ma- Miklo Kerkes. Mirko Kerkes is that the name? Yes, Mirko Kerkes. That's the name. So Kerkes is presently uh, playing for uh, Bournemouth. Uh, a deal can be made there, maybe thirty-five, maybe forty million pounds. Uh, energetic, but I am not for this player. If I, if I, I would prefer to pay slightly more for Alfonso David than Kerkes. Why? Because I know Kerkes is good, but my problem is I don't know how he is going to cope with the defensive work. He, what I'm trying to say is he's not an established player, and I, I am a little bit doubtful if he can stand the pressure because with a player like Alfonso, you know he has he's from a massive club, a club with a very top image just like Manchester United, Bayern Munich are the Manchester United of uh, Germany, and I think he can fit the profile uh, very well. So, um, uh, Miklo Krekes, um, I, I mean, uh, his attributes are just similar, very good going forward, uh, very good on the ball as well, good game reading also, he's athletic, but uh, he has some questions on his defensive work, so that's where my worries are in regards to uh, this player. Also, there is also a news uh, I want to give you guys in regards to um, our goalkeeper. There is something I just noticed. You know I'm from Cameroon, original, right? And uh, I have uh, some good uh, contacts with uh, uh, my folks who are working also with the national team uh, with Cameroon. We have uh, we have player, Cameroon player Onana, who is uh, our goalkeeper actually. In December, Onana will have to play three games in December. And I think... Those games, those periods that Onana needs to leave in December, he will be he will miss two Premier League games. And this is a worry already for those of you who are a Manchester United fan junkie like me. We are worried because if Onana has to miss those games, we need to prepare a goalkeeper who is going to play. What do I mean by that? I mean it will be a very smart thing for our manager, Ruben Amaron. Uh, uh, to start giving Beinda some games. Beinda is an international, well respected in Turkey. Turkey is not Liechtenstein, with all respect, but Turkey it has a good national team. If this guy is the first goalkeeper national team, he needs to be getting games. This is one of the things I didn't like, even though I was quiet with Eric Ten Hag. He wasn't an adventurous manager. Well, he basically sacked himself. Let's keep that one beside. I think Robin Amaron will have to accept and take the, take those risks if it's a quality risk for play, to put an international player in games. He needs to give this guy games uh, so that we, we, we he needs to get the goalkeeping position very competitive. Uh, I would love to hear what you think about that. Uh, as I said, um, Onana will be Andre Onana will be leaving. Uh, will have to play for the national team of Cameroon. He is not retired. Uh, he, he played the Afcon last year and uh, I, th- I think it was in January. No, last year. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, he will be called up with the national team, obviously, with the Cameroon national team, which he, he cannot denounce it for Manchester United. So uh, it is a tricky one. There's a reason why most clubs buy very few African players and mix them with European players because tournaments sometimes they kind of you know interchange and you need to display our services so uh that's where we are in regards to that we'll give you guys the latest update but i think onana is going to go to cameroon because you know fifa hitting hard on clubs who try to stop their players also some news in regard to ex manchester united player and uh, in um, in anthony marshall we know marshall is playing <laughs> for aika athens i think yeah in greek the greek side he has played five games uh, scored one goal and guess what? Marshall left Manchester United. He has breaking his self record. Left Manchester United and has played three games for ninety minutes. And that is something that we need to start talking about. Maybe it wasn't only Marshall's fault. Maybe it was our medical department fault. Look, we keep talking about when I see casual fans out, they talk about what about Manchester United? What's going on? We need to change the manager. We need to change a lot of things. Manchester United as a football club has more than just a manager issue. And this is what it, we have discovered as fans. So um, when we have players who are not playing, players who give crazy mistakes, players who play for themselves, uh, it's, there are just a lot of things going Manchester United which we need to uh, address, uh, uh, not only as fans, but also owners. I think 
I give even the new the Enos who are in charge of the football department, I give them so far a six six point five because it is really too much for the short time that they have been and the impact they have given in, in the club by bringing what is more important in an organization, which is uh, uh, obviously the, the, we need to uh, organizations need to have there must be a certain mentality in organization that helps it going and that's where they are hitting hard on it so guys that's my short uh video today i'd like to get tell you guys also we also have a blue sky um, for those of you watching now we have a blue sky account for those of you who would love to join the community and also work under the system uh please drop me an email on uh our on our social medias private email and we will start from there. We will need some of you who have uh, some time who can give you guys uh, some responsibility in sharing information on this platform. With that all said, guys, talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be doing our preview for Robin Amaron's first game. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, talk to you. Bye-bye.